Hi, this is Eli Kranzberg from Logic Pro Expert. In this video, I want to show you how I'd like to get started when I'm working with vocal libraries that ship with preset verses and choruses. We don't always have to be married to the exact timing that they're laid out in. We can play with them a bit and mold them and sculpt them. And that's the way to get something unique from them. So here's how I like to start. I'm starting with a vocal stem that I've taken from a producer's loops vocal acapella library. Now I know that it's at 81 beats per minute and it's in G major, but that's about it. Let's start by listening to this vocal with a click. My friends aren't calling me by my name. They shout my and we are lay. And I say, oh la 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 la, oh la 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 la. We're going to the beach right now. They hear how we sing and laugh. There's two verses when you look again, kind of a pre-chorus you have to attend when you look again you are not a shy you can live in yesterday someone told me it's a chorus behind memories of the past keep going I know what you have cause you cannot come back someone told me to leave behind memories of the past Keep going on the way you have Cause you cannot, you cannot come back I like the way that chorus kind of plays with the beats and the bar. So I'm going to break this down into the different sections. I might not keep the exact timing. I might add some things in between. I really like that ooh-la-la-la at the end of each verse. I want to, I think, repeat that and build on it. So let's start by just figuring out some of the melody notes. Now, I don't need to figure out every exact note. I just want to get a general sense of the direction of it. And if you're having trouble figuring out the notes, you can always use something like Melodyne or Flex Pitch to export a MIDI file, and that'll give you a good starting point just to hear the main tones, even if it's not perfect. My friends are calling me by my name. They shout my and we are late. And I say, oh, la, la, la. All right, so I want to try and get a rough idea of some chords. What I'm hearing, G major, and then when it goes, maybe it goes something like this. Let's see with G in the bass. To A minor. D, something like that. Let's try it. My friends are calling me by my name. They shout my and we are lay. And I say, oh, la, 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 la. Okay, I'm going to capture that, and I want to repeat that ooh la 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 at the end. All right, so let me cut this. This is where the next verse is starting. We're going to the beach. So I'll just cut right on that downbeat so I can... Keep it in sync nicely. I'll just move it out of the way. I'm not sure how many bars. But I think I'm going to add another chord in, actually, when I repeat this so I can get a bit more space in there. So let me just cut the vocal phrase. All right, so right around there on beat three. Just zoom in. Oh, that's good enough. I'll tweak the boundaries after. I just want to cut on the bar line so I can keep it nice and smooth. So let me... Add in an extra chord, I'm thinking. And then maybe the E minor for a bar. All right, so we have that extra bar in. And we just join these. Let's copy this. I'm not sure where it needs to copy exactly. Probably around beat three there. Good, so let me come back in with that A minor. All right, and then we'll 
jump back into the next verse. So let's bring that back. It kind of sounds like there's some two four bars in here. Boom, that's where beat one sounds like it wants to be. So let's put in some two four bars. I think there, that six four, that bar six rather, should be a bar of two four. So let's go to my lists here. And I'm just gonna add in time signature. And then at bar seven, we'll go back to four. Good. And then those bars of E minor, I can have some instrumentation in the arrangement, filling it out and maybe having some nice little hooky counterliner motif. So let's bring this back to bar 11, start on the bar there. Actually, that sounds good going to that E minor there. But let me capture that, and I'm going to do the same thing where I repeat that ooh la la la, and I'll see if I need to correct any piano playing, and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back, and I've done a bit of cleaning up. I've color-coded these verses, and what I did was I copied the ooh la 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 from the first time because she repeats it twice here. And the second time, she only said it once. So I copied that here. And now the revised ending. And then I'm not going to add on that bar of E minor this time. We're going to jump right into the pre-chorus. So the first verse ends up being seven bars with that little 2-4 bar in there. And the second verse with the 2-4 bar in there, which I put in, is only six bars because we're jumping into the pre-chorus. A little bit unusual, but hey, got to do whatever works right for the music. So that's that. I think what I'm going to do now is I'm getting bored of listening to this click. I'm going to open up my loop browser and just get a drum loop to try and put in there. And again, you can use whatever loops you have available. I'm just going to sort by tempo. And I think this is one I found that I liked. Okay, let's just drag that in. Yeah, so I'm going to have to do a bit of cutting to conform with the two four bars, but I like the general feel of this. I like that little upbeat at the end of the bar on the kick drum. I can maybe get my bass part to follow that. So yeah, I'll do some cutting and pasting to get those in there. That'll give a nice little anticipation and structure to the bass part. This is Eli Kranzberg signing out. I hope you've enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more on this type of thing and I can follow up with this project and show you how I develop it further.